Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is January 28, 2023. Hope you are all doing well. In today's segment, we'll take a look at stocks with very high short ratio and see how to benefit from it. So with that, let's jump in and start with a quick market update. Look, from a market update perspective, you got major indices going up. Look, S&P 500 trying to go higher as you can see here. And we got to watch out next week, Fed might increase the rates by 25 basis points. And then you got VIX here. VIX is a volatility gauge. It's uh, coming down as you can see here. That tells you there is no fear in the market right now. Folks are greedy. And then you got NASDAQ here. NASDAQ has been putting up a good gain here. It's uh, slowly going higher. And we got Russell 2000 small cap stocks also going higher. And we got bonds. Bonds are going higher. And interest rates are slightly coming down as you can see here. That's a good sign for the market. And we got crude oil. Crude oil is doing nothing as you can see here. Crude oil has been uh, going down off late. So that could be a good sign that energy prices are stabilizing. And gold is going higher as you can see here. Folks are going into this uh, stable um, gold uh, to really hedge them against the recession. So I would not buy gold at these levels here. If it comes down slightly, I would buy gold. And look, dollar is coming down as you can see here. That's a good sign for these big corporations. So with that, now let's jump in and look at stocks with a very high short ratio and see how to benefit from these stocks. So with that, I will take you to my favorite platform here, which is uh, Finviz. Look, as you go into Finviz platform, um, you'll get very good, um, very good information. If you're in the home screen, you could see stocks performance for the day here. Look, Dow Jones did very well in the morning, but look toward the end, it came down. And same story with NASDAQ as well as S&P 500. And now let's look at stocks with a very high short ratio. I can take you into the screener here, and I got a screener here called short interest. As you go into the short interest screener here, look, my criteria is very simple here. I'm I'm looking at uh, stocks with a very high short ratio look a short float over 10 percent and we got here current volume over 1 million shares traded and then you got price over one dollar typically it's not good to um, you know play the short squeeze on stocks lower than one dollar unless you are a penny penny uh, trader so with that let's uh, jump in and get started look if you don't have fin with elich it's, it's okay. You can go with the Finviz free platform. You know, go go to finviz.com. So if you if you're in the Finviz free free platform, you could go into the ownership tab here. Here you could see the short float. Look, I was sorted this by very high short float at the top here, and it's in the descending order. Look, top of the screen here, we got Silvergate. You know, one of my you know favorite crypto stock here. It's been coming down big time, as you can see here then you've got carvana marathon so on so forth if you have finviz elite you could go into the custom view here this is a much better you can select what columns you want to see look i got here my short float as you can see here and i sorted by descending order then you could see current ratio and so on so forth here and also look at the performance here the daily performance is nothing but change and then you got performance all the way from one week to 52 week uh, performance for the year as you can see here so if you have finviz elite platform you could download this whole information by cl clicking export here into excel spreadsheet and you could do you can do more analysis and you could also look at a snapshot view here one of my favorite view and you could look at these short float candidates here look silvergate um, it's been um, going down as you can see here now it's a kind of stabilizing look you got to look at the chart and make some informed decisions all right so now what we'll do is we'll go into uh, a spreadsheet i've downloaded this, this data into the spreadsheet to analyze this better all right let's go into the spreadsheet here look we got stocks with a very high short ratio at the top we got silvergate silvergate as many of you know it's a crypto bank it's a really um, a bank that is supporting the cryptocurrency 
think about like a crypto exchange look stock is at $13 as you can see here and um, stock has been uh, down big time look we got here performance in 2022 is 88% negative as you can see here but in 2021 and 2020 stock has done well and as you scan through here we got RSI we got RSI 14 day as well as RSI 7 day here this is telling you stock is uh, improving uh, you know in 7 day because RSI in 14 days is 41 but RSI in 7 days increasing it's 46 that tells you it's a good news here you could look at stocks like Silvergate at this level and buy them slowly one more thing to think about is look we got options volume here in the options market Silvergate is not very active if you want to look at active um, stocks in the options market you would look at option open interest more than 1 million for example best buy here it's got a great open interest as you can see here you know that's a good one to look at if you're an options uh, type trader or even if you're a gamma squeeze type trader all right so we talked about silver gate here i will also go into one of my favorite view here as you scan through here look this is my favorite view you could look at uh, performance here in um, look we got performance all the way from one day five day 10 day one month so on so forth here if your stock has gone up so much in show short, short time i would not buy for a short squeeze candidate um that's one of the reason look if you look at silver gate right now silver gate uh, look it's uh, down in one day and five day but in 10 day it's positive at this time mainly because crypto is going down and even silver gate has uh, put off its uh, dividends for preferential stockholders that's why it's coming down right now but this uh, stock can go higher as crypto goes high that's why i'm slowly buying and accumulating at this level here even though last week we, we couldn't uh, make much gain here as you can see it's a down 1.1 percent but you know it's, it'll go higher as we, as we go forward and look um, from a growth perspective morningstar gives it a b grade here profitability is d grade finance f grade as you can see here so with that it's uh, you know one of those uh, um, speculative plays here you could uh, make a small bet here and uh, as crypto goes higher this can go this can also go higher and then you got carvana here carvana as many of you know here it's a used car play here and look carvana as you can see here rsi in 14 days 60 rsi in 7 days 68 this is a little bit beyond my reach here i would not be buying it up here mainly because look at the performance here in one day 19 percent and in five days also 19.7 percent and at this time i would uh, wait for a small pullback before i jump in normally my sweet spot is to buy when the rsi 14 day is uh, below 50 or so that's when i buy slowly and accumulate you know because it's uh, high and rsi 7 days even higher i'm not interested at this level here because stock is uh, cruising higher and look insiders are buying carvana slightly and institutions are also buying so that's a good news here this can go slightly higher but i would um, i would wait for for a small pullback because it's gone up so much in one day how I, I would like to have a small pullback before i buy this one and then you got marathon digital here marathon as many of you know here it's a crypto miner as you can see here marathon is uh, it's got insider buying the stock here institutions are selling slightly as you can see here and stock is um, stock is going down as you can see here one day eight percent down five days six percent down and so on so forth here and look at the rsi here rsi 14 days 60 here rsi 7 days 57 that tells you stock is coming down right now i would wait for a little little, little pullback here look at that one month performance here one if 148 percent i want this to be slightly lower i would love to see the rsi below 50 or so then i would jump in here this is one of those stocks which goes up and down nicely here there's no rush to buy at this time here and then you got bed bath and beyond as you can see here bed bath and beyond is a uh, very very super active in the options market look at the options open interest here 2.2 uh, 
two million uh, contracts held by investors and on friday we got 517000 contracts traded and look put call ratio here put call volume ratio tells you on friday folks are trading more put options than call options that's a bearish indication and put call open interest tells you more folks are holding the put contract than the call contracts that's why put call open ratio is also more than one and look from an rsi perspective we got rsi 14 day here which is 45 and rsi 7 days 40 so that tells you stock is slightly getting weaker here so i would be willing to look at this stock here given it's a 2.5 dollars as you can see here 2.55 there's a lot of option open interest here i would uh, slowly start buying some here there is some uh, news about this company closing the stores so that's why you got to be slightly careful but if you're a um, speculative type trader you could slowly start buying some mainly because look at the option volume super high and on friday stock is slightly up after the big down here down it's down 30 percent in five days i mean 23 percent in five days and 30 percent in 10 days you could slowly buy some and go from there and one thing to know here is really look uh, insiders are selling institutions are selling so you got to be super uh, speculator here to buy this you have to buy against the normal grain here that's why you got to be slightly careful here but normally uh, you know i would it, it would be okay for a short term trade especially because stock has come down so much so drastically but if you are a you know if you are a conservative type buyers buyer don't buy this but if you're a speculative type buyer you could buy some um, purely for a speculation given it's gone down so much and option volume is through the roof here and look we got short float as you can see here high short float 46 percent and then we got a few more as you can see here as usual you know keep a watch on what insiders are doing what institutions are doing as you can see here we got insider transactions and institutional transactions look we got the VT, vtnr here institutions are buying that could be a good sign here that's our vtnr as you can see here vtnr as you see here we got rsi 14 days 46 rsi 7 days 59 slightly uh, higher for me i would love to look at rsi coming below 50 then i would buy and we got a few more as you can see here um and you know if you are an options uh, market person here always pay attention to open interest here you want to see a high open interest if you if you are a you know super active in the options market and normally look uh, we got uh, you know while ago we had all this amc gamestop saga going mainly because the option open interest was super high and put call ratio which is really put call open interest ratio was very low that's why those stocks went keep going higher and higher and we got a few more as you can see here and normally as usual you know you could even look at the rsi here if the rsi is high keep watching the rsi seven day and rsi 14 day here if the rsi is super high i'm not interested otherwise if the rsi is low here look we got 41 46 still silver gate i'm interested look at bed bath and beyond um i will be i'm interested in this one also which is bbby bbby understand it's uh, slightly getting weaker here because rsi is going from 45 uh, in 14 day to 7 in uh, uh, 40 in 7 days here and then we got a few more here as you can scan through rsi here we got pbla here pbla also look it's a one dollar stock as you can see here uh, but look uh, this one um, rsi 14 days is 30 as you can see here uh, you could take a look at this this one also here and look stock is big time down here so you got to be slightly careful with, with the stocks like this one here and off rate uh, wayfair is going super high here i would not buy wayfair mainly because look what's going on in wayfair here look it's rsi is going through the roof here so you got to be slightly careful here i would uh, i would wait for it to cool off before i jump in here then i would buy stocks like no wax so you could also you know you could also filter this by rsi here my favorite stocks are rsi below 50 so let's go in here say less than or equal to and 50 
All right, look, we got your very short list here. Uh, we got list of about 39 stocks here. Look, uh, we got count 39. I'll be looking at these names here. Um, and we got short ratio right here. Look, even these stocks have got very high short ratio. And the reason I would look at these names is mainly because look at the RSI here. RSI is 41 uh, in 14 days here. And look at the RSI in uh, seven days. You could look at these two columns here uh, to get a good idea and i would also look at the float here look at the float whenever the float is lower uh, that means uh, low number of shares outstanding here for example silvergate very low float uh, this can go higher whereas bbby a slightly higher float here so that's why it's uh, going higher slowly so that's that's a very important one to look at here you, you want to look at short float and also you, you want to look at the float um, which is uh, stock shares outstanding um, which is available all right so you know keep a watch on uh, insider institution transactions here look gas here gas look um, in institutions are buying that's a good sign here but gas look uh, rsi perspective rsi is still lower but rsi in seven days going higher so you got to be slightly careful after this big jump here look at the, this jump here i would wait for a pullback before i jump in here and we've got a few more as you can see here in all these uh, great names here all right so let's do one more thing here if you're a options person you could go into option uh, open interest here and you want to make sure option open interest is super high i would say look at option open interest uh, say greater than or equal to i would say five hundred thousand. Uh, let's uh, give five hundred thousand here all right so now we'll get uh, you know st stocks with the super high open option open interest here and also stocks which are down big time here rsi perspective look rsi 45 rsi 46 that tells you these are down big time here we got new two names here we got bbby and lumen and both are relatively active in the options market you could look at these names here um, and uh, for the long position here all right next we'll jump into my favorite uh, platform here when it comes to trading um, and an analysis which is a trading view here all right so we got trading view open right here and what i would do is i would uh, you know go into uh, my trading view here and look i have created my um, my uh, lists here and we got here two watch list one is uh, short very high short ratio we got silver silver gate at the top here and look it's very simple i added bollinger band here you could go here and say bollinger band this is the one i added you could add bollinger band which is a very good um, technical indicator and i, I also added uh, the squeeze indicator here you could say squeeze look we got squeeze indicator by lazy bear it's a good one to add especially if you want to do short-term trading all right so with those two indicators here with the lazy bear indicator as you can see here i can go in right here double click and look uh, you, you got to make sure you change certain things in the lazy bear indicator here mainly because otherwise it does not show up well look i increase the color one and color color one is green color two is a light i mean color one is dark blue color two is light blue and look as you scan through this here i made sure opacity is 100 percent and i also selected uh, the circle here instead of a star you should also do same thing so you can see better in this trading view application all right so we got silver gate here silver gate as you can see here with the crypto coming down a lot of exposure uh, with the ftx um, debacle here stock is coming down here but look what's going on here so look um, rsi perspective rsi seven days 45 and rsi um, 14 days 41 here rsi seven days 45 that tells the stock is getting stronger and as you scan through here look um, 
from a lazy bear indicator perspective it's telling you there's a chance that this can go higher it's been uh, it's been hugging the line here um, as you can see here um, and as some good news comes up this stock also gone can go higher look um, mainly stock came down because uh, company is suspending its uh, dividend for the you know pref preferential stockholders you can click on this here look at the news here prefer stockholders dividend uh, cuts the you know they cut the dividend so that's why it's coming down here at this time you could slowly buy some and then you got other names here i can stop this here and look we got carvana here carvana look it's a little more stronger for me here look at that rsi here rsi 14 days is 60 here and rsi 7 days is 68 stock is getting stronger um you know you could uh, buy here normally i would not buy at these levels here i want the rsi to be below 50 or even say below 52 or so before i jump in here so with that carvana i would uh, i would wait uh, slightly here let it uh, cool off from a rsi perspective and then you got here other names here let's look at Marath marathon digital here look marathon digital rsi is 60 that's why i would uh, wait slightly for a pullback here and uh, look from a lazy bear indicator perspective it's uh, not doing much here there is not too much catalyst um, i would uh, you know, keep going this way and go from there and we've got a few more as you see here bbby here bbby look um, let's go in here and look from an rsi perspective this is getting weaker that's why you got to be slightly careful rsi 14 day here is 45 rsi 7 day 40 so that's why you got to be slightly careful on the positive news here um, lazy bear indicator is slightly i mean it's not getting stronger but it's uh, above zero level here so you could go through this way here uh, but if you're an options trader you could go into um, stocks with a very high option open interest here look we got short opt here this lower watch list has got stocks with very high open interest here top of the list is uh, amc many many of you trade amc here very 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 high open interest here look uh, this stock is uh, rsi 14 days is uh, 54 here rsi 7 days 59 and look stock is uh, from a lazy bear indicator perspective it's about zero here slightly getting weaker as you can see here if you're a speculator you could uh, you know buy some uh, bbby here this can also you know go higher very speculative name as many of you know here and then you got a few more here um though this is actually uh, amc not bbby we are looking at amc all right now let's look at uh, american airlines look american airlines uh it's a little bit higher rsi for me i would wait for a little bit pullback here and uh, lazy bear indicator is also slightly weak as you can see here so these are the names with very high <clears throat> um, open interest here very active in the options market then you got carnival cruise lines here look it's a high rsi for me i would rather look at a little more lower rsi all right let's go back here and let's look at um you know let's uh, look at stock with very high um very high open interest here what i would do is i would uh, go in here um, you know re remove the rsi indication here instead of 50 i would say 55 here let's look at relatively sold off stocks with very high open interest here we got a few of them here we got bbby we got amc you could take a look at that one also we got plug plug as you can see here options open interest is 575 not too bad here and rsi is 54 you could look at that one too and then you got lumen here you could look at lumen also here option open interest 5556 five, five, here and it's getting stronger as you can see here rsi 14 days is 46 rsi 7 days 48 you could look at this one also so with that thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe